The Magic of Being Stuck and How Letting Your Dreams Change Can Help Save the World. I help people get unstuck and yet I still get stuck all the time. I have an inner critic who's all, seriously, how can you keep saying that you help people when you're so stuck right now? These inner critic voices are so black and white that they actually miss what is happening. They don't care about the truth. They care about saying something that hits in such a way that it stops you. And it's true. I've been feeling super stuck with a lot of projects lately. And the people who I work with in Dreambook are are more stuck than ever. Not all of them, but more people than ever are writing to me to say, oh my God, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. So I've been writing a lot about being stuck, about navigating transformational times. And I've been creating a new program called Space Making, which is super gentle and doable. It's a way to start to make space for yourself and your dream in your busy life. And it's a way to ease into dream book for those times when you're too overwhelmed to get into the real work of dream making. And I'm creating this because I still believe in our dreams. And I want everyone to find their way in to the magic of really deeply working with your dreams. And I love the ways that people's dreams have changed over the last few years. But first, back to the stocks. Yes, I'm stuck with a few things right now because being stuck is an important part of the process. Being stuck is where you look at things from different angles. You're kind of forced to. Being stuck is where you make space to feel your feelings, to process them, to learn more about yourself and find out more about what you're really made of. Being stuck is where you get real with yourself about the ways that you get in your way. Being stuck is where you get real with yourself about where people in your life are in your way. And if you're brave, you will start to set new boundaries. Being stuck is a pivotal point This idea that you can take one step after another and go all the way from where you are to where you want to be without ever getting stuck, that's a fantasy and it's holding you back. This is one of the mother stucks because it keeps you from starting until you can see that clear path. That clear path doesn't exist, so you'll never actually start, but you won't feel upset by that because you're believing the lie that you're waiting for the right time. If only our stucks came with neon signs that said transformational experience here, stop, look more closely at this, which is actually my job. I hold up that sign and I offer the tools that help you transform the stuck. And even still, sometimes we will look at the tools and say, oh, no, no, this isn't an opportunity for for transformation. This is an outer obstacle. I need to just sit here and wait for someone else to clear it for me. Surely life will be less crazy in a few months. The only way out is through. We can sit with a stuck for years. I had one for about 15 years. It was this idea that I'm just not into business and there isn't a way to do the things I want to do and make enough money to live well. And I had these ideas that people with amazing work just get discovered. I I had hope that one day some kind of manager would find me and take care of the business parts for me. So I kept doing my work on the side while working in an office after the starving artist thing became too stressful. Until the time came when I decided to look at that stuck more closely. And it's funny for me now to look back when I was so sure I could never do what I want to do now as my way of earning a living. I've been doing it for 11 and a half years and it feels like the, the only way I want to be in the world. We are wrong about so much. So I look back to that. I remember how sure I felt and how wrong I was. And I ask, what am I wrong about now? There are actually an infinite number of paths that lead from where you are now to where you want to be. You can only see the options that your current perspective will allow you to see. And your capacity plays a big role in how large your perspective is. And I think we're all struggling with capacity issues right now. At the same time, when we can find ways to not let this shrink our dreams, this is actually a time of huge new possibilities to dream beyond what we've dreamed before. 
It is really stressful to have inflation rising out of control and increased civil unrest everywhere and attacks on our democracies and a war that threatens to pull most of the world into it and a pandemic that rages on while watching climate change happen right in front of our eyes. When I say I'm excited about dreaming beyond what we've dreamed before, I'm not talking about dream bigger, like six figures is the new, or seven figures is the new six figures. I'm talking about dream truer, that we can create a whole new way of doing this life. And I'm seeing so much of it. I'm seeing people creating collaborative ways of working together instead of, you know, one person trying to build the biggest business in the least time. I'm seeing holistic practitioners taking an honest look at the cultural appropriation in their training and working with Indigenous people to clean it up and create new ways of doing things that work for everyone and benefit everyone. I'm seeing art as a vehicle for activism, coaching as a vehicle for activism. Shifts are happening. And it feels like a whole new movement of healing and creativity is springing up, one that's focused on activism, anti-racism, disability rights, honoring everyone's unique gifts. One that is deeply rooted in anti-oppressive ideologies and consciously looking for how to be as intersectional as possible, how to really be there for everyone. And it feels to me that the New Age movement, including the holistic wellness, yoga, life coaching, was attempting to do all of this without doing any of the deeper work of understanding what white supremacy, colonization, and privilege actually are. And so without any understanding of how we draw on those oppressive ideologies and systems in how we do everything. And so all it was, all the New Age movement really was, was the colonization of indigenous spirituality in various forms. But now we are starting to wake up. We are starting to see new possibilities, which were always there, but hidden in our considerable blind spots. This is the time for dreaming the new world into being. And then I come back to where I started. Holy shit, I feel so stuck with so many projects right now. But now I come back to it and all I feel is possibility. A stuck is an opportunity for healing and transformation, and doing that work frees up new energy for the dream. And always, you are welcome to do this work with me in Dreambook. This is my comprehensive program for how to create the path that leads from where you are to where you want to be by engaging more deeply and directly with both the inner work and the inner growth. And I call the inner growth dream work. So you want to engage more deeply and directly with the inner work and the dream work that your dream needs from you, and then using the energy freed up in that work for the outer work to face the outer obstacles. It's comprehensive, it's complex. It will help you heal and grow beyond what you believe is possible right now. And you can find out more at creativedreamincubator.com.